Essential oils have been used for thousands of years for everything from medicine to massages. And now some parents are claiming that essential oils like lavender and sandalwood calm their children who have autism and help them sleep better. But is it true? CBS 2's Dr. Max Gomez tells us how scientists are trying to figure it out. Evenings used to be a challenge for 12-year-old Sam Kokonis. Sam has autism and would use things like electronics to distract himself and delay his bedtime. Then his mother started using essential oils, putting things like lavender and frankincense on his head and feet. Now Sam's bedtime battles are over. It has gotten so much better. Like I, If I have to go up maybe once to like tell him to stay in his room, um, that's it, versus 10 to 15 times before. Talk of essential oils and autism is virtually everywhere online, from personal blogs to parent support sites. They are reporting that they've seen uh, improvements in quality of life and transitioning in their children throughout the day. Um, but these are, these are anecdotal. So researchers at the Ohio State University Wexner Medical Center's Nissinger Center are studying two mixtures of 18 different essential oils to see if they're safe for children with autism and to see if they work. During the study, parents rub oil on their children in the morning, then use a diffuser in their bedrooms at night to see what effect the oils have have on sleep, children will wear watch-like devices called an actigraph that records activity levels. What we find is a lot of these children wake up during the night and it will capture those times so it's got the minutes awake and minutes asleep, etc. Moms like Shannon say they appreciate that researchers have taken a cue from them and are willing to study less conventional forms of therapy. There are so many of us, thousands of us parents across the world that are treating our kids with autism. Desperate parents often try many different types of therapy on their children with autism. Having scientific data on these therapies helps determine if they work and how they should be applied, possibly saving parents money and time wasted using ineffective treatments. Dr. Max Gomez, CBS 2 News. And researchers hope to test several children with the oil combinations over a two-year period.